Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday, the 15th of January. Starting off with Brand Shield, where we had that uh, resistance line break and the break of the uh, previous uh, December peak there around 27 pence. And uh, the view uh, was and is that while we're above uh, that particular mid 20 zone, we should see further upside. Uh, best call of the moment is that we could head up towards the top of the uh, December price channel, currently hinting at a target as high as 40 pence, hopefully as soon as the end of this month. A uh, stock which is uh, quite highly followed at the moment is uh, Mossman Oil & Gas. And uh, here uh, the shares have been uh, trying to give us the big break to the upside that uh, uh, the bulls have been looking for. Uh, current situation is that we've uh, uh, bounced off the 50-day moving average at 0.15, uh, at least while we're above uh, that particular feature on, an, on a weekly closed basis. Hopefully we can see the shares eventually getting up to 0.4 pence, which is the uh, top of a March 2020 price channel. Uh, if you're cautious on the shares, you're waiting for an end of day close through the initial uh, January resistance of 0.22 uh, to give you the momentum trigger for a 0.4 pence target over the following four to six weeks. Uh, next up, a stock which has been uh, rather more uh, uh, keen to move around, and that's uh, Metals Exploration. Uh, here we've got the uh, gap up through uh, resistance, uh, the old uh, peak uh, for the initial peak rather for uh, January 2.14 pence and uh, we've gapped through that, uh, which normally suggests that there'll be f uh, f more follow through or f follow through for the stock uh, up to, in this case, uh, a target as high as uh, 4 pence as soon as the end of next month uh, while we hold above the 2 pence area, uh, that target of 4 pence, the top of a rising November trend channel so hopefully let's see how that's hit this stage only really back below the floor of the channel and the 50-day moving average at 1.76 pence really delaying the upside scenario uh, on to a stock which has been uh, struggling to get off the ground but looks like it may finally be getting off the ground uh, and that's uh, non-standard finance uh, the reason for the relative enthusiasm here is the way that uh, we're starting to build uh, from the recent base uh, just below the three pence zone breaking that line of resistance there from november uh, that's currently running around 3.2 pence so above that on an end of day or a weekly close basis and we could hit uh, the falling trend chat or trend line rather from uh, august currently promising a target as high as four and a quarter hopefully over the next uh, four to six weeks here let's buy let's say by the end of uh, next month uh, only really back below the 50-day line 3.12 delaying the upside scenario and I suppose only really back below three pence cancelling it completely uh, more obscure stock uh, and a, hopefully a new situation to keep an eye on is um, uh, the following one uh, one media here we've got uh, the shares breaking through the uh, 200 day moving average rising at 6.63 pence and uh, a weekly close above uh, that 200 day line uh, could set the shares on a journey towards a pretty, pretty decent upside uh, a resistance line projection from uh, back at the end of 2018 uh, which is promising a 12 pence uh, plus target which is obviously where the shares uh, peaked out uh, three years ago as well so it kind of uh, adds up for one media. Uh, On to another stock which has uh, managed to uh, base out over recent weeks after a rather weak looking start but uh, good to see President Energy now uh, pushing higher uh, the key break here was the break of the 200-day moving average at the end of last month and then finding support above it around 1.64, which is also where the 50-day line is now. Uh, the view is that the longer we stay above uh, August post-August resistance at 2 pence uh, on an end of day or a weekly close basis, the greater the chance of a move up towards 4.5 or even 5 pence, which is basically uh, testing uh, late 2019, early 2020 resistance and that's a two to three month target uh, while we hold above uh, two pence certainly back below the 50 day line really delaying the upside scenario there uh, another less uh, frequent flyer uh, on uh, the runway at the moment uh, comes in the form of um, the stock that i'm going to look at now petroneft uh, here we've got a gap through resistance which is one of the uh, best signals or the better signals around at the moment uh, 0.69 the uh, the initial peak for uh, December and uh, 0.7 for January so above 0.7 on an end of day close basis and we're looking hopefully towards the April resistance line projection at 1.2 pence 
as soon as the end of next month. Uh, good to see uh, Riverfort finally responding uh, to uh, uh, bullish sentiment. Uh, the reason, I suppose, a double reason here. One was the introduction of the dividend, uh, which was uh, quite, I think, quite chunky, around 7%. And the second is the way that uh, the company holds over 20% of Pires, which is currently uh, shooting higher, uh, around, I think, 14, 15p the last time I looked. And so uh, with the shares having uh, nearly tripled in the last uh, month or so, obviously, uh, as a major stakeholder, River Riverfort will benefit. Initial target here up to 1.6 pence, uh, which is the top of a rising trend channel from last March. And that's valid while we hold above the initial 1.29 um, pence uh, resistance for January. If you're a fan of the stock and looking for further gains, uh, that would be according to, um, if we can get through 1.6, and the next uh, level up would be towards 2.2 at that March resistance line projection, or 2.3 for pence, that March resistance line from uh, last year. A uh, stock which is uh, hardly ever out of focus and is will being willed higher uh, most of the time as well is uh, vast resources. Uh, here we had a rather nasty gap uh, down through uh, support, uh, previous support of 0.15, so uh, uh, trying to regroup after that. A uh, little bit of a bear trap there towards 0.1 pence, and we recovered from that re relatively well. So above that uh, June resistance line there at 0.11, chance of recovery towards uh, at least the 200-day moving average there at 0.17. Uh, but uh, at this stage, a little bit early really to call the shares much higher than that, given the uh, rather painful gap down that we had uh, last month. Uh, just uh, three stocks to go now. Another stock which is hopefully in recovery mode and has been requested today, Westminster Group. Uh, here you can see that uh, shares have gone into this um, uh, rising trend, ch uh, trend channel from the beginning of last month. Uh, the base uh, has been built uh, just below the four pence level and higher support for January um, at or above four pence. But I uh, probably want to see a clearance of uh, this resistance line there from the beginning of the month around four point uh, three pence on an end of day close basis. If you can uh, beat that and uh, get through that, then uh, the target here, f uh, hopefully by uh, the end of the month, would be towards the 50 day moving average and the top of the December channel at five pence. Uh, going on to the last stock today, which has been uh, quite a, a pleasant surprise in terms of the uh, persistence of the uh, rally that we've seen. Uh, here we've got uh, Zinmold Lithium, uh, which is uh, basically in a rising trend channel, which I'm just about to draw now. Uh, top of the channel at the moment looks as though it's heading towards uh, the low 20s, so 21, 22 pence, uh, that channel from the end of October. And uh, while we remain above uh, the initial January resistance at 13 pence, hopefully looking towards 21, 22 pence uh, by the end of next month and hopefully even uh, as soon as the end of this month. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.